What's going on guys? Welcome back to Uber Adventures. I'm John and today we are taking a look at the Sierra Luxury 38 FKOK. So as you might be able to tell, I'm looking at brands that I don't normally do. I'm not in a dealership that I'm not normally at. So unfortunately I did part ways with a great outdoor RV. All those videos are gonna stay, all the contact information will be there. So if you see anything Durango or Durango Gold or Phoenix or any of those RVs that you've seen on my channel, those are still available. Contact them, tell them where you found it, and they'll take good care of you no matter what. Right now, I'm in Funtown RV in Rockwall, Texas. They allowed me to come out here and film all the RVs I want. So over the next month or two, I'm gonna be going through their inventory. I'm also gonna be going through other dealerships inventory as long as they allowed me to go through it because there are some pretty unique RVs out there. If you're a kitchen person, a foodie, this is the RV for you. That's why I saw this and I jumped right on it. And I'd never on, I've heard of Sierra. I didn't know there was a luxury line. And this one's gonna surprise you. If you're a kitchen person, you'll love this. So let's jump on into this one. All right, so if you do like this RV, uh, con I'm gonna put my email down below. Contact me and I'll get you in touch with a sales manager directly. And they'll make sure you're taken care of. Obviously, I'm gonna put the price right here. I know the price is inside as well, but if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. My email information will be down in the description. Let's jump into this. All right, let's start at the very front. So you see the Sierra luxury logo with the big, it almost looks like you know the old school Chevrolet logo, but with just mountains, the Sierra mountains in the logo itself. It's a solid front cap, obviously. And of course you have these docking LEDs right here coming down below. They are Lippard Rhino box. Uh, rated at 21,000 pounds for the pin box. So that's really nice to have. Let's take a look underneath. So these are gonna be, this is your docking light switch right here. And then coming down here. Now, one thing I absolutely love of what they did is they separate all the stuff that you shouldn't be putting your hands on. So they block off all the uh, hydraulics over here and then they block off all the electronics over here. And of course, this has probably also got your auto leveler and all that kind of stuff it may or may not i'm not really sure you can see the color coordinated wires which is always a huge plus and then you do have quite a bit of storage right here or hydraulic stabilizers and i believe let's take a look one two and then three so it's a six point auto stabilizing and then as you can see you do have speakers they're really low for these but this thing has so many slides on it it's kind of interesting design. So you have a front slide on this side, two further down, and then on this side, you have, it looks like two more slides, nope, three more slides. So you got six slides on this RV. Very interesting, very big. And then let's take a look in here. So you, oh, this is interesting, and it's on a tray, check that out. No excuses to get to them now. That is convenient. I like that a lot more than the other way. I like that a lot. Very nice. There we go. That's cool. So a lot of these things, I've obviously haven't really gone through these RVs. A lot of the stuff is definitely going to be new to me like that right there. Very unique. Very cool. I feel like it might do storage for them a little bit better in this RV. And then coming on down, uh, we got our spare tire and your pass-through storage. Obviously, it looks like it can be moved, but it is held down. You do have lights in here as well. It's all padded down. I like it. I like it a lot. The welds on the aluminum frame look fantastic. Of course, welds are like one of those things that can always be improved upon. I think this is, yeah, this is your backing for a TV. And then you have a plug right here for your coax and your power, so... Very nice. And then of course you do have your other speaker along with a 110 plug and you have a spray port right here as well. Your awning, LED lit, what is that? That's interesting. So there's room for a camera right there as well. Obviously it's not a rear camera, but it's pre-wired for one. So if you want an entrance camera, you can definitely do that. That's really cool. And then, of course, you got an awning. Let's see how far this awning goes down. Okay, so it goes all the way past the second door 
which is really nice. So you have this door covered. Where did this one come up again? Yeah, so you got both doors covered. Very, very nice. And then you got a little amber LED right there as well. You've got two sets of A Step Above by MoRide, which is very nice to have. Look at these tires. These tires are gigantic. They're Endurance by Goodyear. And their size is 225 or 255, 85, 16. And I like for max load, inflate to 80 PSI, like in big, big, bold letters. You can't miss it. Coming on down, this is one of my favorite outdoor kitchens. I know it seems very simple, but I've always been a fan of bringing your own grill off to the side. There should be a, let's see here. Yeah, you got a, a propane hookup right there. You can even see it. It reads right here, LP Quick Connect. So I'd bring my own grill, but out here you have a place to plug in for whatever you might need. You also have water ran to your outside, outside kitchen. And then, of course, you have a fairly large fridge. You have an outdoor microwave. And then, of course, you have two little areas of storage. Give you an idea of that. And then, of course, you have a place to prep. And then it looks like it's lit in here. Oh, dope. So you can either go with a blue accent or you can go with both. See if you can see the lights. That is cool. I like that a lot. A lot, a lot. Coming on back. Oh, it's an outdoor grill. So you have an outdoor grill on a hinge. So I'm guessing there might be a lock somewhere. Probably on this side. Yep, it's right there. So you can unlock it and you can swing it out and have a grill right next to your other kitchen. That's actually really nice to have or you can just grill it separately just off to the side i really dig that one huge back window again another led or led uh another rear backup camera and then you do have the new oh there's a butterfly above it you can probably not see it on camera but uh the lippert steps it's just set up to add steps and they just hook up to the plastic that's up there already and come down not a huge fan but i think that's the way the market's going or the industry is coming around all led tail lights of course okay you got a tankless hot water heater very nice very very nice we got a little cargo right here it's been raining here in north texas that's why the humidity is at a million right now you have your 50 amp supply right here obviously because this is a luxury rv coming down you have your other slide that says sierra the big sierra logo you got a suburban furnace coming in here you have basically the other side of your storage you also have all your wet hookups and everything and then coming over here you have your battery disconnect you're lit up again and then you have your solar charge controller. Coming further down, we have our battery hookup and it looks like we got a solar battery. Um, maintenance free based off of what it says. I don't see anything about being a lithium battery. Yeah, I think this is just a traditional lead acid battery. Of course, you have everything else up here. Again, it's all blocked off for the wiring. I love that. And then, of course, you have your auto stabilizers right there. All right, guys. So that pretty much covers the outside of the RV. Let's take a look in the inside, which is where this thing shines. All right. So you have four steps. Fifth step is taking you into the RV. All right, now that we're in the actual RV, I will be quiet and we will just walk around and then we'll get into it.
all right guys so we are up here and so i figured i'd go ahead and start with the front because this kitchen is literally to die for even if you live in a house this has got more counter space than most homes have so let's jump into this i think you're going to enjoy this and it, just walking through it this time it really makes me realize that this is a true couple's coach i mean obviously you can have friends over but this is perfect for a couple so let's jump into this all right so the first thing that i absolutely love that stands out and if y'all have heard me say it before in my videos you'll hear me it again uh, you'll hear me it again you'll hear me again say it over and over if I can eat and watch TV, because I am a single person, so entertainment is important to me, I can sit up here, not make a mess on the floor down there, or on the couches, and I can eat like a normal person at a table and watch the TV right there while I'm eating. So, love this, especially for kids or myself, perfect. We'll start with this side, so you have two slides in here which make this room so freaking big. So over here, you have your three burner Furion stovetop, and then you got another Furion oven, which is wide. This thing is actually really wide. I think this is one of the widest ones I've seen. Very beautiful, very nice. Huge window on both sides. So you get lots of daylight in here, especially if you're cooking during the day. You have plugs on both sides, lots of area on each side if you need to just take the pot off and lay it down because these are solid surfaces so you could do pretty much anything that you'd want to do over here coming over here you have storage let's see how these close soft close check that out i figured out an rv this size and really the price is amazing for a full size rv that's pretty knockout good payment or price that's a pretty good price coming down let's take a look on this side too very nice and it's all real wood you can even tell by the grain of the actual doors all right let's go to the other side so again you have the same drawers on each side but in the middle you have a little bit larger storage you could easily put residential levels amount of like cooking accessories in this RV without any issues. Look at the size of this space right here. I mean, you could make just this area for your coffee and then this whole area could be for whatever else. Actually, I'd make this area because it's further away from all your cooking and your sink that I'd make this the prep side and that the coffee side, or you could make this the coffee side. Check that out. This thing's insane, insane. Storage underneath. You have USB A's, which I've got my, uh, my GoPro batteries charging from right now. And then you do have a regular 110. Coming up, you have an LG. Let's see here. Oh no, that's a traditional microwave. So you got an LG traditional microwave, which is very residential. This is exactly almost as if it was in my apartment. I think it's about the same size, if not the exact same size. Coming on down, you got an LG fridge, which is huge and legitimately bigger than my apartment's fridge. I got a regular one-sided fridge, like where it just opens in the middle. You look like you got a, I think that's a water filter of sorts. So down here, you do have an ice maker. Very nice, very big. Lots of storage in here. See if you can get a good view. I know it's not the brightest. Lots and lots of storage. Let's open this up on both sides. You got storage up top and huge storage down below. And then we got the center island, which obviously... I mean, I like how they made it very specific for just cleaning stuff or wa putting water on things and stuff like that. That's very nice. I like how it's kind of separated. That's how I would use it. I would just leave the tops off of this because you've added so much space over here, over here, and behind here that you don't really need to leave these covers on. Underneath, you have your fireplace. It looks like you will have a center vac hose or a center vacuum cleaner, rather, and there's the hose for it. 
And of course, this is a full single basin. And then of course, you also have a matte black faucet. So I like the colors in here. And then here's the control for your tankless hot water heater. And then coming on down. You have two couches on each side, which I'm guessing. Yep. So you have two trifold couches on each side, which I actually love the colors. They really contrast well with the walls and everything. They're not too dark, but they're also not too, too bright either. And then, of course, you have Thomas Paine Collection uh, love seat right here, which you don't see a lot of just traditional love seats anymore cup holders on each side and I'm guessing that this reclines but right in front of you you have a huge 47 inch faux fireplace that also puts out heat obviously but it is gigantic coming up you have a place to put something like maybe a sound bar or a video game console right here there is a plug in there it might not fit a console but it might fit like a sound bar of sorts of course you also have one right here two forward facing connect speakers with all your, I guess this one has three different uh, zones. And then you have a huge connects TV, which I'm guessing 55 inch TV, pretty good, pretty big. And then on each side you have storage above. Of course it's not gonna be separated. And then on this side, you're gonna have the exact same thing coming on down the hallway so you have your central vac system right here fuse panel washer and dryer these are going to be your uh fuses so if they blow you can control them right there your fan which the fan in this rv is phenomenal looking it looks like it comes straight out of a house and not only just a regular house but a very nice house i like the blades contrast to the actual arm i think it looks fantastic coming on down then you have your thermostat and then you have your ridiculously big bathroom i mean this thing is huge this is me oh it feels good in here actually so this is me with my legs spread all the way out sitting on the toilet you have all of this space and then some and then you have a huge shower I mean huge so if you're a tall dude this is the one to go with you hear me miles I mean I yeah you could probably be eight foot tall so this literally could fit anybody inside of it I mean I'm only five foot seven but stretched out I think my arms make me make me quite a bit taller then of course you have a huge medicine cabinet Plenty of space for a couple people. Acrylic sink with a brushed aluminum faucet look. You have plugs, your light switch, which is not even on. Oh, that's one thing I've missed on big time. So then you have your fan right there. But one thing I've definitely missed on, and I'll go over that here in a second. You got a little bit of storage, a little bit of plumbing underneath the sink. And then you have your toilet, which is obviously going to be a porcelain toilet. And then you have a place to hang. Now in here, it does lock down. But you've got a splendid washer and dryer. Ready to go. Not having to be like, hey, I want to add one. And then you got to worry about the extra cost. This has already got it. Very nice. But one thing I have been skipping out on, which I love, and this is the first RV I personally have seen. I'm sure it's in other RVs. We'll go up here. But you have flush lights. They're not the, the ones that pop down that can fall out and all that kind of stuff. These are flush. I love this. I love it. And then let's go on to the bedroom. So this is also a very huge RV perfect for couples because you got your bedroom back here with a couple boxes obviously they put the tvs up they just got to put this up and i believe that screen goes right here it just needs to be put in not a big deal storage up top reading lights as well and then you get this little light around let's see if i can turn off 
there you go you can see the light that just goes around it very beautiful of course you have blackout screens on this now this is what's crazy look at the storage i'm going to close this door so we got storage up there there is no storage under the bed you have storage that lines all the way up on both sides you've also got storage underneath here we'll open some of this storage across the top and then below your tv so tons and tons of storage obviously i'm not going to open up both sides this side is more than enough to show we'll start right here so you have a place to put possibly like a laptop or something so you can work on and then you do have space down here and then lots of drawers easy clothes they need to be worked in a little bit and then of course you have a big wardrobe hanging closet of course you have two over here and then you do have more storage underneath however you need to use it look at that look at this this is just insane storage issues no more i love this thing and then up here of course it goes all the way through you have your tv and then you have oh this is like dvd style stuff or very little things you don't want to put very big stuff obviously it's not even my hand wide and i got small hands so you have your air conditioning thermostat in here which they are coleman mox i believe this unit has two air conditioning units not really a need for a third in something this size this is almost perfect the way that it's set up because this ac and that ac i think they're all ported so you can get all the air up here if you really need to but there's plenty of space on this thing so i love this rv this rv is phenomenal it was the first one i walked in and i was like i've never seen anything like it i've seen things that are much like it but not exactly like it especially with that kitchen if you are a kitchen person this kitchen is redonkulous so let me know down in the do i have that okay yeah and then you got little i mean they just think about everything little leds underneath i mean accent lights everywhere i love this thing all right guys let's go over all the specs all right let's go over the specs so the dimensions the length of this rv is 41.75 feet the width is eight feet the height is 13.42 feet and the interior height is seven foot dry weight is 12,823 pounds payload capacity is 3,000 pounds gvwr is 15,823 pounds and your hitch weight is 2,256 pounds you have one fresh water tank which is 50 gallons one gray water tank which is 134 gallons and one black water tank which is 52 gallons you have two propane tanks each of them are 30 pounds a piece so you get a combined total of 60 pounds you have the one awning which is 20 feet which is awesome it covers both doors this rv claims that it can sleep six no problem which makes total sense you have the two couches that come out and each of those can sleep too plus you have your master bedroom your heater is 35,000 BTUs and of course you have your tankless hot water heater and that pretty much covers everything so back to me all right guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you did let me know down in the comments subscribe hit the bell notification and of course contact Funtown RV if this is the RV for you I promise you this is going to fill a lot of people's needs and wants this thing is fantastic I would buy this no problem especially for the price that they have it at just under eighty nine thousand dollars i've looked at luxury rvs i've looked at montanas i've looked at those durangos i've looked at uh momentums i've looked at just about anything momentum that's a toy hauler isn't it grand design but i've looked at a lot of brands out there and this is phenomenal so guys until next time bye